Welcome back, everyone. It's 914. You're watching CT Style Soup. It's a great dish for a cold, rainy day, a perfect start for a holiday, holiday dinner, or if you're under the weather, True. right? True. This is perfect. Absolutely. Our buddy Chef Plum is in the house. Welcome uh, hey, to CT man. Style. Uh, what's going on, you guys? Listen, um, I didn't hurt myself falling down, thank goodness. Yeah, it, that didn't happen. I, I broke a. Andy's home. <laughs> oh, no, we can't do it right now. <laughs> it's it's Andy's coming. Andy's no, it. it's Andy's home. Andy's here. Andy's here. on his way. <laughs> Andy's on route. Well, a little bit different than normal. What I want to do for you guys is, Ryan, I know you're not feeling well. Oh, thank I you. want you to taste this here. We're gonna eat first. I like here. this segment. This is beautiful. This is a butternut squash and apple soup. It's phenomenal. Mm, thank taste you. I sure will. It's really, really easy to make. I'm all about simple food. It takes one pot. I have three kids. I want to keep it easy. So that's the whole plan here. So Ooh, what we got? This is delightful. We have a beautiful pot, pot here. You can see it's nice and pretty and shiny. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of butter to it, just like this, right? Simple, easy, and then. A little onion, right? Half an onion, right in there. Now you would think onions and garlic and squash, yeah. it doesn't really work. No, it works great. I'm telling you why it works, because it's all gonna cook together. That's okay. the whole idea here. So the trick is with this, as you're cooking it in this pan here, you want it to get translucent. You don't yes. want to overheat it, right? You don't want to turn it you brown too much. You want to burn it, right? Right. There, you guys can see it in there if you want. It's nice and getting translucent, soft. So then you add this. This is a little bit of that chopped um, butternut squash, you know, the big weird looking You know, looking you can get the squash and the onions already cut up in the grocery Why store. Why would you do that? Yeah, because come on, it's reasonable. so much easier. Do you know how long it's been sitting there? Who knows? It's gross. Ew. Yeah, ew, well, I'm nasty. still going to do it. So we have that, and then here's what we're going to do. This is getting nice and translucent. We're going to add a little bit, about a half a cup or so of a uh, little Honey? apple cider. Oh, apple cider. Just like that, right in there. Yeah, this is good for colds, huh, with apple cider it's vinegar? Perfect, yeah. right? Yeah. Right there, in there, and then you add your butternut squash into it. This is one of those things you can start on a football Sunday, get it fired up before the game starts, have it cook, and then out halftime you're ready to rock and roll. For the Steelers, well, that's a right? Great idea. Steelers 100 yeah. percent for the Steelers. And then we're gonna add about a quart or so of veggie stock. Really, really easy, guys. Simple, simple, simple. What happens is these guys, you can see, they get nice they start and soft. They're getting really soft. Nice right? and soft. They smush down. When that happens, a smush is a culinary term. Yes. Yeah, we're smush, gonna take smush, this. Smush. We're gonna put it right into our blender. You blend it up. You finish it with a little bit of a ground cinnamon, a little bit of ground nutmeg, right in the blender. A little bit of apple and creme mm -hmm. fraiche to finish it off, which Ooh. adds a nice creaminess. Now to the it. apples are getting soft over there. Is that kind of what we're doing? They're in this, so they don't turn brown. Oh, uh, okay. A little acidulated water. A little trick of the trade there. Wow. Hey, uh, we, before we go, yeah. we have to mention your new show. This yeah, is so yeah, exciting. Yeah. Hey, edible really exciting. nutmeg. WCTX, November 26. We're really, really excited. Uh, this show has been phenomenal online, so to the point that we decided it's time to make it a TV show. We've gone all over to cool places in Connecticut, checking them out, and we finished each, each episode off with a fantastic recipe using nothing but local food. How cool is that? Wow, good for you. It's exciting. That'll be really it's very fun, fun to watch. Very it's fun. Fun. You very have to fun. come on CG Style even more now and make more good eats. Absolutely. How was the soup? Do you guys it's like so it? It's so good. Awesome. I'm going to enjoy this That's for the rest want. of the morning. That's what we want right there. Easy recipe, one pot, piece of cake. You could freeze mm. it too? I you can absolutely assume, right? could freeze this, no doubt. Easy to do. And it pops right out, put it in the pan, defrost it, nothing to it. Nice. Nothing to it. And it makes a whole good meal. I'll tell you what, my kids even like it, which makes it even better. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Chef, thank Chef, you so thanks much. for coming thank here. You. I can get me sick, are you? Just no, of course uh, not. Hey, oh, okay, by the way, if, if, if you need <laughs> some of these hands. ingredients, <laughs> some, some squash, whatever it may be, uh, well, you got to head on over and see our good friends at ShopRite. When you're cooking at home, keep it simple and have your groceries delivered to you at home with ShopRite from Home. Use promo code WTNH25 to save $25 on your first purchase of $100 or more. For all the details, go to the CT Style page at WTNH.com.